Now, I want to take you back to another story that is developing in downtown Toronto. Police reporting a woman has died after an unprovoked attack near one of the city's main downtown intersections. Now, Megan Fitzpatrick joins me now near the scene. Uh, Megan, you were at that police press conference. What's the latest there? Yeah, so they're saying this assault happened around 11.40 this morning. Across the street from me, Hannah, they say an elderly woman was walking down the street when she was attacked by a man. They say that she was pushed to the ground and she sustained serious injuries to her head and face. They say that first responders came to the scene quickly, tried to assist her, but to no avail, she was pronounced dead at the scene. Uh, now, uh, police, the suspect, fled the scene. Police saying they did get a subscription a description of him uh, from witnesses and they quickly gathered uh, surveillance video from nearby businesses. Uh, we spoke to uh, someone who works in one of the nearby businesses who saw what unfolded this morning. Here's some of what she told us. I saw uh, a body was lying, lying here and uh, then I uh, thought it was a man but a lady who walked to uh, in uh, told her that it was a woman yes and uh, nothing she was a line like strictly no moving uh, at all And police telling us just a few minutes ago, Hannah, they believe the woman was maybe in her 70s, uh, but they can't confirm an exact age yet, and they have not released her name yet. Uh, they say they are still trying to confirm her identity and also notify next of kin. Megan, what more did police have to say about the suspect of this? Well, as I mentioned, they did uh, say they quickly had a description of this suspect, a man they believe in their th in his 30s, potentially, but again, not an exact age. Uh, and they say they uh, quickly uh, had a strong police presence here on scene, and they started searching the surrounding area. And they found him, Hannah, they say, nearby, uh, a few blocks over, and took him into custody. They say he will face a charge of aggravated assault. Here's more from what we heard from the police just a few minutes ago about the suspect's arrest. To locate a suspect approximately one hour ago and take that suspect into custody. As a result of that, we do not believe there's any risk to the public at this point from this individual, as he is in custody of 51 Division, currently being investigated for the offense of aggravated, pardon me, aggravated assault. Our homicide unit has been notified and are monitoring, but have not taken carriage of the investigation at this point in time, pending the outcome of an autopsy and a formal cause of death. Police also saying, Hannah, they are still appealing to the public for witnesses, anyone that was in this area of Young Street and King Street this morning who may have seen what happened. Perhaps they have dash cam video, cell phone video, saw what happened uh, to contact police. And they say they're going to continue to uh, canvas this area as well uh, as part of their investigation. Hey, Megan Fitzpatrick in Toronto. Thanks for the update on the ground.